Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Gulf Shore School 2021-2022 school year. As you are aware, we have been asked not to have in-person Meet the Staff Nights this year. So instead, we put together this virtual Meet the Staff Night for you. Um, after last year, we thought that we had finished a number of our virtual presentations, but thankfully we got pretty good at it because here we go again. My name is Maria Lavois, and I'm the principal of Gulf Shore School. Myself and the vice principal, Ms. Claire Kaisley Smith, are going to give you a little bit of an introductory slideshow to our school year. Hi there, everybody. Um, as Maria said, my name is Claire Kaisley Smith, and I am the vice principal here. And we have uh, quite a few people attached to our school this year. We have 253 students, 24 teachers, one school counselor, six EAs, five bus drivers, three cleaners, and one admin assistant. And of course, all of you, all of the families attached to Gulf Shore School. An extremely important part of our school is yourself. All of our Gulf Shore families are part of our home and school. Our home and school is led by a wonderful executive with President Jem Cavello organizing meetings on the third Wednesday of every month. You are all welcome to attend any of these meetings. Um, you sign in when you enter the building and wear a mask and walk right into the multi-purpose room. It is a wonderful way to meet other families, be a part of the school, and really just find out what's going on. Another way that you can do that is by joining the Home and School Facebook page. It is a private Facebook page run totally by the Home and School, and you can search for that on Facebook under Gulf Shore Home and School, and they will invite you into the page, accept your invitation. One of the big things that Home and School takes care of is the milk and pizza orders, and that is run by a volunteer again and you log on to their website for hot lunches and you can order milk and pizza. That is in addition to the provincial school lunch program that happens every week as well. And that is done through the provincial school hot lunch website. And this one is done directly through our own hot lunches website. So we have several different things that we would like to remind you of for COVID so that we can make sure that everybody remains safe. Um, when you do come in, if you have to come into the building for some reason, you have to make sure that you sign in at the front door and of course, make sure you wear a mask. If you are picking up or dropping off um, your student, please make sure you wait in your car. And also please ensure that we have the correct contact information so that if we need to get in touch with you, we will be able to. And of course, keep your children home if they're feeling unwell, let them rest up. And as soon as they're feeling better, then they can come back to school and we'll be happy to see them. Our students are making sure that they are washing their hands frequently. They are physically distancing. They're wearing a mask when they're required and they're staying home when they're ill. And then those who are 12 years and over are getting their vaccinations. And the staff as well are getting vaccinations, making sure they're hand washing, physically distancing. We are also staying home when we're not well and we're wearing our masks when we're required. Our school day begins at 8.20 each morning, whether you are dropping off your student in the drop off area or whether the students are getting off the bus. There's five hour, one hour blocks that divide up our day and our recess, morning recess starts at 1040. Students go outside almost every single day. So please ensure that they're dressed for the weather. Their lunchtime recess begins at 12 o'clock. So students go outside for recess first. All students in K to nine are, recommend, are recommended to go outside. Students in junior high don't always have to go outside, but if it's a nice day, we often recommend that they go out, uh, shoot some baskets or whatever they wanna do at their recess time. And all students in, in K to six go out every single day. Students eat after recess. So they come in and they eat from 12.30 to 12.50 in their classrooms with their homeroom teacher. And then at 2.45, the bell rings for the end of the day and then students get ready to load the buses. 
There are lots of different extracurricular activities that are available for the students this year here at Gulf Shore. There's quite a few different sports um, and that will be announced to the students. So different sports for different times in the year. There is leadership um, for the grades seven to nine students. And then also this year we have junior leadership, which is for the upper elementary students and they get to help develop different activities for the school. And sometimes they do some um, fundraising for different activities, but it's just a lot of fun and a lot of learning for them. We have a yearbook committee that students who are in junior high can be part of, um, where they develop that yearbook for the end of the year that everybody loves to see. The Duke of Edinburgh is a um, program that is for grade nine students, and that is going to be run this year by uh, Miss Bethany Bernard, and she will be working with the grade nine students so they can earn their Duke for this year. There is going to be an art club. Um, I believe there's going to be one for upper elementary and then also for junior high students. And there will be lots of other things that as the year goes on. We'll try to keep you in touch on our website, um, but lots of different things that will be happening, such as, for example, shark attack. So if uh, you have students who are in band, they may already be involved in shark attack. We consider Gulf Shore School just as one member of our community. Um, we are surrounded by many, many community supports. Student Wellbeing Team, the SWBT, is a really important part of our Gulf Shore community. They are a team of mental health advisors and counselors that work with our students and our teachers to help improve the mental health of, of families in our school communities. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the student wellbeing team, you can reach out to contact us here at the school, or actually you can even self-refer to the student wellbeing team. Another really important part of our community is the CU After School Program. The CU After School Program is run right here in our school, and it happens in the multi-purpose room every single day, and it provides child care from when school is let out at 2.45 until parents pick them up um, at 5.45. And of course, many of you are aware of our Gulf Shore EYC that now has a pre-K program running at our school. So the Early Years Center is situated in our school and it houses students or provides childcare for students um, in their program from birth to four years old. So they're really, really important part of our school community. It's wonderful to see them out playing on the playground or maybe walking back to the woods. And many of them, the children in there then become future Gulf Shore students. We're in close connection with our local RCMP branch. RCMP not only um, supports us as teachers if we need help with um, any programming or anything that they would like to come in to our classroom for, but they make themselves really visible here in our school. We're really lucky to have wonderful liaison officers that consider themselves an important member of our staff and uh, vice versa. We consider them a really important member of our team. They're very visible in our Gulf Shore community and we're really grateful for that. And of course, public health, especially during a global pandemic, public health has gotten to become an even closer part of our Gulf Shore team. We reach out to them often for many different reasons. Uh, we wanted just to kind of highlight some of our community supports that we deal with every single day. There are many others. I'm the first person to say that we come from the very best community. We are supported highly um, by community sponsors. For instance, the North Rustico Food Market sponsors our Food for Thought covered, and they are extremely generous for us as well. We have volunteers that come in often, um, whether it's stocking the food cupboard or helping out in various ways. So once again, for sure, we have a wonderful community and we thank you all for being a big part of that. Communication between home and school is very, very important in order to help support the students. So if you need to communicate with any of your uh, students' teachers, um, you can email them for sure. And you can find all of their email addresses on our website. If you look under the staff um, tab, you will see emails for every teacher in the school. Or of course, you can always call the school. Donna's at the phones and she will be happy to answer it and direct your question to the right place. Our website is um, online and you can check there for lots of different information. Um, if you just Google Gulf Shore School, then you should be able to find it. 
And also um, power schools is new to us this year. Junior high families would have been used to getting emails with um, updates from SAS, which was our grading system. And you'll notice that those aren't happening right now, but you will be getting something in the future. We're not sure exactly what it will look like, but it will be part of Power Schools. And we are just waiting to find out what that is. So have some patience and hopefully we'll get that up and running very soon. We wanted to review with parents a little bit about our technology and cell phone rules for students. If you have children in grades, kindergarten to grade six, we're asking that all those students keep their personal devices at home. There's absolutely no need for them to have a personal device in class with them or with them at any time during the school day. If they need to contact you, by all means, they can do it the old fashioned way. You tell their teacher and we will call you from the office. We have done a little bit of a change for our students in junior highs. They are now allowed to use their personal devices at lunchtime. So they come into the school, they put their personal device away until lunchtime, and then during their own free time at lunchtime, they are welcome to take out their device if they're outside. One of the things that they're not allowed to do is to take photos. So it's just a reminder that we are trying to respect the privacy of all of our students and taking photos and videos of other students at school is not allowed for those students in grade seven to nine. Once in a while, a teacher may um, allow them to use their phone maybe for a timer during a science experiment or a calculator or taking a photo of notes, something like that. So we call that authorized use for our students, but in general, they are to keep their phones out of the classroom. In addition to this, we wanted to let you know if your child is unwell, and this particularly pertains to those students in junior high, and they need to be picked up, the student is to tell their teacher, and we'll arrange for the communication home. There is some circumstances where maybe they will be calling you from the class, but the teacher is right there. Students are not allowed to text their parents from the bathroom, because what happens in these circumstances is, number one, we're not sure if a kid is, is sick or not, and it's really important for us to know if they're okay. And also with our COVID protocols, we need to sanitize the classrooms if they're not feeling well. And it's really important for when you arrive at the door to pick up your child because they're feeling unwell that we're aware that you're coming so we can have them all ready to go. So just a reminder, if for some reason your child does text you during the day and says that they're not feeling well, you, they may need a reminder from you to ensure that they checked with their homeroom teacher. Okay, so this is the part in the slideshow where we're going to allow you to put some names to faces. Many of you have heard these familiar names um, over the last couple of weeks from your children. And we're just going to go through our, our staff list and staff roster so you can see who these people are. So all of these wonderful humans work with your tiny humans every single day. Rena Hunting teaches kindergarten. Miss Bernard is the other kindergarten teacher. Miss um, Bridget Toner, she's our grade one teacher. Caroline McGuigan, she teaches our grade one, two combined class. Heather McNeil, She's our grade two teacher. Mr. Mark McGilvery teaches all of our grade three students. Grade four French immersion is taught by Vicki McKay. Our grade five, six French immersion are combined for part of the day and their homeroom and they're taught by Courtney Anderson. The grade five, sixes are not together all of the day. They're taught separately for social studies and math and they're combined with their counterparts in the English program for English language arts. Marilyn McMurdo is back again this year and she teaches our grade four English class. Welcoming Alyssa Arbing to our school. Alyssa teaches elementary English language arts and you can also find Alyssa in the library. Mr. Holmes, he teaches grade five, six English and also he is in industrial arts. Paula Arsenault, grade seven French immersion. Madame McNevin, she is our grade eight homeroom teacher and teaches all of the French immersion students science along with the grade nine English students science this year. Madame Kim, uh, she is our grade nine homeroom French immersion teacher. 
Sandra Skeffington is grade seven, eight homeroom and teaches math and science. Michelle Siliker is new to our school. She teaches grade nine and also you can find Michelle in our home ec room. Kirsten McLean teaches our band and music program. And Miss Cody is in the gym. She teaches phys ed and along with health, phys ed and health combined with junior highs. We have six wonderful educational assistants at our school. Shyla Gallant, Karen Klo, Abby Wainwright, Beth Wainwright, Carrie Blaze, and Laura Saris. Our student services team consists of, consists of Sherry Covey. She's our full-time counselor. Ms. Covey is here every single day. Elisa McGilvery teaches resource. And also teaching resource this year in the mornings is Natalie Boyle. We welcome Natalie to our school as well. Our custodial staff are extremely important members of our school team. We have Karen. Karen is our COVID cleaner, so she is here every single day from 10 to 2. Many of you know Doug, and Trevor is our night custodian. We have an incredible transportation crew taking our students safely to and from school every single day, and that is Paul, Eric, Al, Erna, and St. Clair. And also running our school is our Gulf Shore admin assistant, Donna McNeil. Donna is the very first face you see often when you enter our school building. So we wanna thank you all for sharing your children with us this year. They are really wonderful little humans and we enjoy spending every single day with them. If at any point you have any questions or any concerns, we are only ever a phone call away. And we would like to wish you all a wonderful year. We are really looking forward to working with you and with the students, and we are hoping for another fantastic year. Thank you.